Hello Hattrickers, welcome to episode 61 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Intercalvejo. Let's start out in the classical way this week with the scout's call. Giorgio Bolini, 15 years old, will remain with inadequate playmaking and he could emerge with weak winger. Gasparoni, inadequate playmaking. Are we giving this guy a shot? I think so. Pretty young. We'll try him in the middle of the park and see if he can do anything useful. We just ended our youth league and uh, we've had another league generated already, so that's pretty good. So Gasparoni, Tiziano, and uh, we'll just put him instead of Santini, I think. Yeah, and we'll see how he performs and uh, check accordingly to his performance there, because we are training Sigismondo Severini and um, Trastuli as forwards at the moment. So uh, that's uh, how we do it at the moment. Let's also make a little cameo scouts call with Haun and Hilda here. Let's see what Robin Gammelko has for us this week. 16 years old, no. Instant. 15 years old, inadequate playmaking. Well, he's 15, so we'll check him out in some other position in the next youth match. Let's see. Martin Stable. We'll just check him out. Not in a playmaking position, but as a defender. Because that'll take a, a bit more skill in order to perform nicely compared to uh, strikers. Let's just try him out in defense. All right, back to San Marino and this week's cup match against Monte Titano Calcio. We did win two goals to one. Luckily for us, we had a comeback in the second half and um, it was quite uh, well deserved. Kind of doing the same approach tactically to the match, even though we were a bit more extreme with the right hand only chance here. But in the end, it was Camellini coming up with the winner in the 85th minute. In the next round, we'll be playing a long shots team Rasti San Marino and we'll have to see if we can do anything about opening up that pretty strong defense that the, those guys have. This week's training report revealed just one relevant pop and that was Kotatko going from weak to inadequate defending. On Sunday evening we played against AC Vion Free, and unfortunately for us even though we had unexpected goals of 2 and they had unexpected goals of 0 0.4 we ended up in a draw in this one and you can uh, tell why, because we only had one real attack, uh, playing attack on wings. And unfortunately for us, we only got one chance on the left. We missed it. It was Lius Lotka, our left winger, missing with like 60% chance to score. Even though it looks a little un unlucky when you look at their numbers here with 80% wins in the Danny's Hattrick Helper Simulator, it's not really uh, the case because it's always a gamble when playing with just one attack sector and especially playing down the sides. In the league table, that means we've scored less points than expected from the first three games. I had expected nine points, to be honest. And next round is a tough match against Berlin United. We are in third. We are already trailing by four points, just three matches into the tournament. Not the situation we were looking for at the start of the season. In other news, we did actually see Denmark play San Marino in the Europe Cup and Denmark won three goals to one in this matchup. An all-out attack mode for both teams Denmark coming out on top simply because they had just a little more to show for in the attack ratings this one very fun to see these two countries play against each other in an official hat-trick match anyway that's all for this week's episode I hope you have a great week in hat-trick I'll see you guys soon